Well, let me curse my hand and put you in there. Charge like that, just being appointed. I feel like I can make some money. Why don't you look? Sit on the ground. Drop your gun belt as well, mate. As well, gun belt on the ground. Nice and easy. Give me, give me a second now. I'm fine. Right, this bitch is a judge. We're taking her with us. He might not call me a bitch. Well, let's get this. We'll get, let's get the money real quick as well before we leave. Make it nice yeah, and easy. No, I just don't have any money on me. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got a little bit of money on me. Zach, go get the carriage, by the way. Who you want me to give it to? You want me to give it to you, Dale? Give it to this fella on your left. There you go. Yeah. It, yeah, this, this fella right here. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. She's give a me fucking second. judge, Hans. She's a fucking bitch. I know. I'm aware. I'm gonna take it somewhere. Sir. There you go. Eighteen dollars and thirty cents. Which one? The lady. The white hat. Tie the white hat. I'm gonna tie up this. We're gonna get this bitch in the wagon with us. That's all right. Are you still calling me a bitch? Oi. Can't we not do anything crazy now? Sorry, son. You guys realize you're back in the middle of downtown here. Oh, put your hands down real quick, son. I know, I'm yeah, aware. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. There you go. Oh, God! Just kind of let you know there. Easy now. Yeah, God damn it. Okay. We got all that. That's good. That's good. That's, that's pretty good practice now. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Okay. You seem to be uh, kind of wiggly here. Uh, well, I ain't trying nothing. I promise you. All right, why don't you put your hands up? Give it another try, Just, will you? Uh, might as well. Yeah. Give it, give it another try. Go, no, no. go get the carriage. There's no fucking carriage. Oh dear. It's easy go. to carry that on in your hand and holster it. Yeah, all right. All right. This is fucking stupid, mate. It is. Ma'am, start. Ma'am, get up, Kelsey, and start walking with us. How about that? Nice and easy. Forward. Certainly. Down the road. Do that way. way. Next to the on the sidewalk here. What's your uh, sheriff's friend's name, there, ma'am? I don't know. There's a bunch of deputies. I have not met them all yet. Fair enough. What is your name, ma'am? Catherine. One more time, so the I didn't hear the first name. Catherine. Catherine, all right then. I'd like you to get into that uh, wagon right to our right there, nice and easy like. All right. What, are we taking both of them? I'm only taking one of them. I want the deputy. What deputy? What's your name there? Deputy, uh, stand, get out of the uh, out of the wagon, please. We don't need both of them, we just need one. Leave the negative part. I need somebody to uh, arrange for uh, the money. Back. Exactly, that's what I'm getting at. Deputy, what's okay. your name there? Yeah, it's uh, James Thompson. James Thompson, all right? James, what I want you to do is I would like $500 for this young lady here, and I want you to arrange that for me. Now. $500. Yes, sir. Right. Who, who should I arrange it for? I mean, who, who am I to? You're coming to, uh, you're gonna go hit the Van Horn. You're gonna leave the money, uh, over there in the saloon there. We want you to come by yourself. And I'm serious about by yourself, because I don't want to have to start mailing off body parts to the sheriff's office until I get what I want. Yeah, I got you. All right. What's your name again? I'm sorry. You kind of, the wind kind of took your voice, sir. You call me Hands for now. All right. I'll call you Mr. Hands. All right. I'll, uh, see what I can do now. Uh, Judge, what's your name? I'm sorry, we hadn't had a chance to meet except for a circumstance like that. Yes, it's not happening more. Yeah, all right, you, uh, you be smart now, Miss Judge Moore. Be safe, all right? We'll try to get it. Now, James, listen, I want one man to come. If I see extras, we will move to a new position, and I will not be very happy, and you will have a very nasty gift in the mail there, Mr. James. You're a little far away. I can't hear you. How do we? Uh, how do I tell you that uh, 
uh, we got the money all worked because I got to get, uh, you know. Telegram. Telegram us. Telegram Mr. Carson Wilthorne. How's that sound? Mr. Carson Wilthorne. All right. All right. I'll do that. That was close. How was it spelled? Spell it out for him. Just to make sure. Just, just make sure. Carson, C A R S O N, and uh, Wilthorne, W I L L Thorne. Does that include uh, that include E or no E? I get that include an E or no E. And Thorne or Will or Carlson? Yeah, uh, in Thorne, in Thorne. There's no E. No E. All right. All right. All right, Judge. I'll. Uh, what's your name again? One more time, just real quick. Sorry. Her name is Miss Catherine. Miss Catherine. All right, Judge. Catherine. Here. Oh, for fuck's sake, let's go. Oh. Oh, they're just picking for bloody fair for goddamn ever. Fuck. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm sure this wasn't in part of your plans today. I'm good for you. Baldy, Baldy there, he isn't the most courteous. He tends to be quite rude often. We're trying to train him better. I know yeah. we may we may as well be outlaws, but we try not to be rude like Mr. Baldy there. I'm sure most women can. Uh, Miss. No, no, that would be necessary. I'm sure you, Miss Catherine. Uh, Mr. Thorne was beaten as a child. That's why he has such a foul temper. That's right. Yeah, beaten. Oh, I'm beaten sorry. Beaten I should have. My life by I my father. That's why it turned out so horribly. Yeah, sad story. My life, really. Mr. Baldy, I want you to head up towards Annisburg, find a nice place in the woods here. We'll have um, Mr. Um, Blondie go there and uh, scout it out to see if. Uh, the deputies do arrive to do their side from Miss Catherine. Did you? Didn't you mention the the, the damn saloon here? I said the one in. I said to go to the one in Van Horn. Okay, good. Yeah, perfect. I was gonna say. I thought you mentioned here for a second. <laughs> so how much are you asking for me? Oh, five hundred dollars. Nice and easy. I'm sure we will get that. Oh, absolutely. I'm I hope we can get more for a judge, but I think uh, we want to make sure they pay it out. We happen, to, we happen to notice that you were inside there as we were walking by. Nice and convenient since we were planning a job already. We had a mod inside and we were waiting for him to bring you out. We noticed your horse. We said get down there, get on the ground, and well, you knew what was going on. We're basically. Yes, I was a lousy detail, I'm afraid, especially when you locked me in. That wasn't part of my plan, so things had to escalate. I'm afraid. Now do you see why we locked the doors? Yeah, uh, good. I almost walked in there and, uh, and sped it up a bit because I was a little impatient there. Yes, I could see that quite a bit. Yes. Your friend there, uh, James, he's quite slippery when it comes to ropes for some reason. He was struggling a little too much playing a game. It was making me very uh, heated, but at least I have a very calm temperament, unlike Mr. Baldy up there. I understand that. Oh, Miss Calvin, hopefully this audio will be over nice and easy. You'll see some folks like yourself as a judge, or they're a lumberyard worker, or even a saloon manager. All says we are outlaws by trade. That's just what we do, and that is what we are good at. As you can understand, we'd like to go as smoothly as possible. It's nasty when things have to get bloody, and I really hope it doesn't get to that point. And I think the deputy understands that as well. Yeah, if you have no, uh, no intention of killing anyone or hurting anyone, apart from that uh, mouth policeman there. Well, I didn't kill him, I just knocked him out, honestly. As I said, not really like how I like to do things. It's just fucking mouth. I think you knocked him out. Yes. No, the young inside, policeman, standing there. 
is standing there doing absolutely nothing to mouthing off. Oh, the police man, the constable. No, no. And Bali, by the way, don't worry, we, we wouldn't leave you behind. We were just merely reorienting ourselves. Keeping an eye out for extra deputies who might arrive. That's Catherine, I can help notice. You got a nasty scar on your forehead. How did you manage to get that on such a beautiful woman? How oh, cruel and unfortunate. It is. And I don't know what happened, uh, but the doctor said it looked like perhaps the uh, butt of a shotgun might have done the, uh, the skull fracture. They also had the three rib fractures. That will do it for sure. Yes, most unfortunate. And you know, my fiance is a, a deputy. He certainly, certainly didn't like oh. uh, me being in that condition. Oh, that's good to know. Maybe we know him. Deputy Dr. Felix Gill. Oh, yeah, good to know. Felix! Oh, I've met him before! I didn't know he became a deputy! Oh, yes, yes, he did! Interesting. I thought, I was, I thought he was the kind of man who might dip his foot into something, I would say, uh, dirty. He seemed to be the kind of man to do that occasionally. Oh, no, not at He was a psychiatrist by trade. Well, ma'am. Very, very good. After this, uh, little adventure we're having here together, I would like you to spread a word for us, if you could do so kindly. And your husband's a deputy as well, which is good to hear. I would like you to tell him, and maybe his colleagues, that the train robbery that ha was carrying the government bonds was done by the Silver Bastards. We'd like to get our name well known, as you could understand. Oh, you guys uh, were the ones who did the train robbery. You know, I had seen that post book, and I was wondering if anyone was going to attempt it. So you all did. The oh, Silver yeah. Bandits, you said? Silver, ba Silver Bastards. Silver Bastards. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> that man. Oh, what the oh, fuck is going on? I don't know. What is Get going on. on? Oh, so, uh, was that a good score? I was curious about Yes, we made it a good $600 from that train robbery, and it went well! Though, do give my regards to Milo, uh, Reigns. He's probably very sore after being shot by me. Oh, poor Tinkerfoss. So you're saying that I'm worth less than the train? Well, I'm, sh I'm not sure what you're worth at all, but I'm sure we can get $500 for you nice and easy. Now, would you like us to ask for more, perhaps, miss? Maybe that might help your ego out. <laughs> I know a politician, I heard you got $3,000 from those ones, but I'm not quite sure how well the state takes care of the judges, that is. Well, they better take care of us, uh, seeing as how we are worth, well, I won't. Post office in Van Horn. There is a post office in Van Horn. Get off the road. All right, Jack, I want you to go down to, uh, on the road, make sure Baldy finds you on the way up. Oh, yeah. All right, ma'am, I have a question for you, just so I can make sure our plan works well. Now, if one of us goes down there by ourselves to, uh, collect the cash, do you think the deputies will be dumb enough to try and take them? Especially if we give them the warning that if... He does not return in a timely manner. Unfortunately, I would have to take your life, ma'am. Understandable, and unfortunately, there is about uh, 80 deputies. Uh, I don't think that I would be able to exactly uh, understand the process and minds of uh, each and every one of them. However, procedure would dictate that they should need to do everything possible to uh, get a judge back alive. Not only just a judge, but you're married to a deputy as well. Absolutely. Or even more valuable that way. I imagine if you were not to make it back, Felix would be heartbroken. I'm very pissed with the men who decided to decide to take action against the hostage situation here. Oh, he would absolutely be enraged. As I imagine any man would be. Now, I believe I've met many sheriffs and I've dealt with a few of them. I know some of the sheriffs and deputies 
that orc and the government here might be a bit shooty shooty as you can understand we've had uh prisoners in the past and uh hostages and sometimes they shoot them off the horse for some reason could you imagine that Unfortunately, I can't because I've heard stories from uh, my fiance about that as well, but uh, it is most unfortunate. Well, Typically, though, they're newer ones. I can see that as well. Now, I understand I think this is going to go smoothly. It's not the first time we've done things like this. I do admit it was a bit messy in the beginning because the storm was just real, real nasty today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you all do seem uh, quite organized and whatnot. That is uh, very nice. You're pleasant as well. I will say it, it was a, a mighty good job uh, there, even though it was a crime of opportunity, apparently. Uh, it didn't seem that way. You, know, you saved us a nice bit of time, I don't know why. We were planning to take that carriage to a road and plan an ambush out there on the road as highwaymen would do on occasion. But we saw a fancy looking horse there decorated, and we figured, well, that might be somebody's very nice horse there. There might be somebody inside there. And also, we do enjoy taking deputies if we can, because they tend to keep a good chunk of money in their pocket for some reason. Oh, do they? Well, not my deputy. I know he, he's uh, quite a stickler for keeping nothing on him. Well, it seems like he, we found him to be more frugal then. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the most part, we don't have very many casualties in our robberies, because we're organized. We like to make sure, you know, we don't enjoy killing people, but we know it's part of the job, and if we have to, we will. And ma'am, not to worry, though, if they do decide to take one of my men or break the rules we set for them, I will kill you. And I will not shed a tear. But I'd rather not have to kill such a lovely woman such as yourself. You've got a very spunky personality that I appreciate. I certainly appreciate your good conversation as well. I would just uh, tell you that it is would be very, very unfortunate if you were to kill me for uh, more cases than you would imagine. But uh, hopefully we can get through this and it'd be very uh, a mutually amicable ending to it. I agree. Again, I know one day I will find myself at the new center of firing squad because I shall say I've become quite infamous these days. It's not easy to lay low like I used to in my younger days. Oh. Well, unfortunately with age, right? That looks almost exactly like my horse. Except uh, it's not braided and it does not have the, uh, the mask on it. I've noticed these days most individuals have enjoyed decorating their horses with masks. Is that something uh, you folks have picked up from the natives, perhaps? It's actually brand new. Uh, the masks were just imported in, so of course uh, everybody's trying them out and loving them. Uh, I, uh, in particular, decided to put one on mine because uh, I did hear somebody is trying to get them outlawed, and uh, well, I don't agree with it, so I decided to add one to my horse. Well, besides being an outlaw, I'm also a man of history and art. Now, where do these masks come from? I couldn't get a good look at it. I imagine across the sea? Maybe uh, Africa, perhaps. Uh, perhaps. I do believe uh, it's the uh, the ram, uh, it's a bison, and then there's this leather one that's supposed to look like a snake. So very uh, tribal. I would say that. It easily have come from the great state of America, the great country of America as well. Maybe they imported from different states, but I would love to see a piece from across the ocean. Oh, absolutely. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. That looks like a wagon with two people on it. That's good to hear. It looks like Baldi has showed up with a, a friend of his that would like to take him in on the, the ransom. Oh, very nice. Uh, it's good that you're sharing. Uh, I didn't know uh, outlaws would do that. Well, it depends. There's different kinds of outlaws. The way I see it, there's, there's outlaws and then there's bandits. Bandits are more likely to kill you than an outlaw. That's how I see it, at least. Mm. Just like how um, the commands are more likely to scalp you than another tribe would. Identified yourself as an outlaw, so I would uh, take comfort in that. Yes, so you, I give a good set of rules and I make my demands clear. Hey, Baldi has a lot to say. We're in a bit of a complicated situation, lads. There's more to it than you think. Is that I'll so? Not, you just talk about it. Go ahead, yeah. Bernard. Tell them what you told me. Uh, well, first off. Catherine. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm doing fine. It's kind of a 
complicated situation, but I think we can still kind of rope this in our favor. See, um, Catherine and I are, uh, associates of sorts. Oh, shit. Not in a, uh, like, you know... She ain't an outlaw, of course. She is a judge, as she said. We're two sides and, of a uh, coin, you could say. Yeah, something like that. We work together, but uh, on yeah, opposite sides of the law. Oh, very interesting. The plot thickens now. <laughs> yeah, that it does. Good thing I didn't hurt her then, isn't it? We've been quite courteous. Well, apart from me calling you a bitch twice, but I apologize for that. Uh, for the most well, part, okay. we are fairly uh, kind to our captives until the man's are met, of course. But I'm glad you came along the way, because I would hate to have to send pieces of her if the deputies didn't work out and so on. But of course, yeah. if there was uh, pieces of me, like I said, it uh, would not end well. So do indulge me. Uh, elaborate, please, if you wouldn't mind. Well, now that I'm here, I'm willing to bet that she's willing to kind of work more with us to help us in our favor to get this done smoothly and without uh, issue. Bye. Yes, even if it and comes I'll, down uh, to a little act on my half. Yep. What do you exactly. suggest? Whatever uh, would work in your favor. You need well, me to say something? You need I would be honest. I don't think scream. we're going to get five hundred dollars. I really don't think so. We're gonna get more than five hundred dollars. Yeah, I can. I can basically guarantee that you can get more than five hundred. Well, I, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Well, what do you think? A what's deputy. the running? Uh, what's the running rate for a judge around these? Now, places? I hold a politician of three thousand dollars. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> That's can... not quite correct. Close though. So the, uh, the governor was successfully ransomed for $4,000. Very interesting. Now, Miss Catherine, if you're willing to cooperate and you're a friend of my friend here who's a friend of my friend, perhaps you can take a bit of the money as well as a thank you for your time kind of situation here. Oh, I know. Absolutely would not. No, uh, you can uh, send that all, all the way over here to uh, my acquaintance. Well, fine enough. Yeah. One less share is fine with me then. We can all line up. That would be bribery nice. and that would be corruption. That's wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be so wrong. Well, I guess the game's up then. You better live. We're free to go. <laughs> 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 all right, then. Um, What is the plan here for uh, offering up? Who should we talk to then if Mr. Uh, James is not going to be around, if he is around or not? You think we need probably, what, $1,000? $1,200? 1500 or 2000 perhaps. I think you work and see uh, whoever's uh, around and uh, exactly how much uh, they have. Max it. Let's start at three grand. Keep yeah. it high. I think that's fair. Sounds fair. I have a plan as well. Uh, I that, just that, James that... is around. He doesn't have 3000. I doubt it. I'm sure we can get some out of his, maybe he might have some savings, perhaps he might be willing to indulge with. But uh, I have an idea, if the, if the deputies do become a bit resistant, we, we could find some unfortunate uh, scum of the earth out there, over by the mines. I know some of those folks are quite nasty, and maybe send his body parts instead, just as a uh, pretend, if things get rough on our sides, as a insurance policy, I assume. No bad shout. Oh, then again, I don't know, how do you feel about murdering innocents? I, I really don't care. You can have a problem with that, Judge. I see nothing, I hear nothing. Perfect. Now, some, some sleazy yokel who finds himself boozing around too much might, wouldn't mind meeting God sooner, I, I assume. At least that's what I would think. And more than likely, they are, uh, you know, getting themselves into trouble a lot. I know, Baldy, do you have anything, do you have any ideas? I know sometimes good ideas right around in that head of yours. I'm full of them, mate. We send one person to collect the money at the agreed location we mentioned. She does not come with us. Once the money is handed over, we make our way back. We get the judge on a horse and tell her to ride to for them. Meanwhile, we get all on the wagon and we get out of here. Very good. What do you reckon? Good 
Me. Good idea then. Now, who would like mm -hmm. to go and do the, uh, the talking on the ground level? Definitely not me. I would be willing, but honestly, the less the law hears my voice, the better. Can you disguise it somehow? I mean, I can try. Good All enough right, for me, that's mate. Good enough. No. Nope. Like I. Neat like me. And since I'm a generous, uh, I would say uh, a friend to work with, we'll probably give you more of the cut for risking your hide more so than others. How's that sound as well? That could work. Has I hear one of y'all. Uh, Met my boy Shiv. It's a high of. He's a good lad, and I did enjoy talking to him very much. So perhaps we have a future job coming up as well. You heard of the train heist that happened, have you? I did indeed. Yeah. I met your two lads here the other day. They told yeah. me about him. Well, I'm glad that we've all come together in such a nice and unusual community here. <laughs> I'm quite excited for the future, what it holds. Hopefully, I don't find myself at the gallows anytime soon, of course. <laughs> well, hopefully, the judge will be able to help for that if we are caught. Oh, of course, not the gallows. Why aren't you boys listening? It's the electric chair. That is a well, new fancy the thing they got there. I'm dying a rich man, at least not until I've spent it all. <laughs> and you know, we can, we can turn the voltage very, very low and then just kind of crank it up slowly. I hear it's very pleasurable that way. <laughs> All right hey, then. Well, the takes all sorts, I guess. Oh, I don't mind that. And think our plan has come together. Any uh, any more input before we start, or should we get started right now then? Well, you need to check your telegrams, Hans. I guess I can You're go and do that. After all. Um, now, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Blondie, there. Would uh, Would you mind if I borrowed your horse? Oh. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, take me down there. You might as well. Two of us. Hold on, wait. Are you sure you want to leave these? Uh, no, mate. I mean, can you risk it by yourself, Hans? No, I could. I can. I don't mind as well. If you're not back within an hour. Well, assume you've been caught, so you know what to tell them if you have been. Yes, sir. We'll do what we, uh, what we just discussed. Sounds good, then. I'll be right back, then. All right. Get in the coach. Yes, this is him. Hi, what's going on? I've, uh, received no, uh, letters in the mail, but I did send a, uh, um... A message to the deputies describing what I would like them to do and where to go and how much money. I asked for two thousand dollars. Sounds good. Fair. All right. Uh, where did you say to meet? Van Horn. All right. Now I'm gonna wait here for a bit to uh, wait for a response and I'll head back down there. If we can't get a direct response, uh, the next option is we're gonna have to ride out and find a deputy ourselves. Did I just see your call? Looks like it. Shit. Well, the plan is in motion now, and we'll see shortly uh, who bats. I'm sure whatever deputy brings the money, the government will surely reimburse him for his troubles as well. Why oh, you get reimbursed by fines? So can you tell me any more about this society without disclosing any information you don't want to? I'd like to know what we're dealing with here. The sign do you say here? Yeah, it's kind of something that uh, a, de a decent amount of folk are in on, I'd say. You have anything to say about the recent government election, I guess? 
Well, we're still re waiting on the results unless they've already come through. They've already uh, come through, mate. You didn't oh, hear? Shit, who, who well, you, made it? Well, you Flanagan said the, the Flanagans did. Right They're the Irish uh, Mafia over in St. Denis. Why is that bad? Riker right, knows them. I know they have assassins and they're quite rowdy as well, but they don't have much of a reputation just yet because I haven't heard much about their ongoings. They seem to be more about political corruption than anything else. For their own gain, of course. Needless to say, Flanagan wasn't the one we were backing. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. We've got a long list of people that need to die. And uh, Flanagan happens to be at the top of it. But... Perhaps we can still work this in our favor. I mean, getting Catherine in the judge seat is vastly better for us than getting Winfred in the governor's seat. Hmm. Well, Why whatever so? works. I got no love for either of them. Don't know them, yeah, to be honest. Do Never I met them. Me. If she wasn't so damn useful, useful to us, I probably would have killed her a long time ago. Which oh, one, Winnie? Me. Winnie or this one? You heard me. I, I, I made it abundantly clear to you many times. I would have killed this pretty lady. Excuse me if I happen to be a threat to you because I'm good with a fucking knife. Or better with a knife oh, than no, you not are. not you. The, the other bitch. The one, you know, went for I, it. I went oh, for it. my Adelaide. Well, yes. I mean, uh, she's a pain in the ass. What can I say? But she was in a good yeah. position. What could we fucking do? We we oh, went for it. We knew it wasn't a smart move. I should say I am. I am pleasantly surprised on how this uh, chance opportunity has turned out so far. <laughs> All the connected dots and so on. Very interesting. Well, now typically we don't uh, let you all connect the dots this much. Uh, consider yourselves very lucky. Maybe we could be some use to you. I'll tell you one thing, we're That's very really good. That's the only reason we've let you connect all these dots, because we thought you would be. Well, it's good to hear. I'll tell you one thing, um, we understand keeping our mouths shut very well, and I can speak from experience. I've had betrayals happen to me before, or misplaced trust. And that man ended up losing an ear, and being shot in the back of the head, and thrown into a river for his betrayal. Indeed. I was there for speaking, it. He's right. Uh, speaking of betrayal, hold up. I got some papers here that uh, you might be interested in. Uh, the boy tells me that you're looking for a couple of people in particular. Mr. Baker and Miss Rosie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A uh, Marcus Baker and a uh, Mrs. Gray, Rosie Gray. I'm not sure how her name goes. She's, uh, she's kind of a... Uh, she, she, she kind of a, uh, I would say, uh, how would I describe her voice? She kind of has got a, a bit of a stutter at a time. She's, uh, she kind of speaks softly as well. And she says chocolates as a side thing at s saloons. And she is not to be trusted at all. She is as venomous as a snake. And she is a devil who will betray you as soon as you turn your back. You don't like being betrayed. Can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. All right. Yeah, here. Uh, Rosie, 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 here we go. Uh, I had one of our people on the inside pull all records regarding the name of your gang, Rosie and Marcus Baker. And this is what come up. So I got Miss Gray's description of one of the perpetrators as a gruff Englishman with a posh accent, short a man, kind of pop bellied carries a double barrel shotgun, kidnapped someone out of Valentine a couple days ago and cut off their hand. Really ambitious and really stupid. This is Miss Gray's words. <laughs> well, I ain't uh, kidnapped anyone. Right, it might have been oh, somebody else. I described, almost described, uh, Mr. Baldy perfectly besides the pop belly. I think he's in better shape than most men. <laughs> oh, I'm quite athletic. What are you talking about? I've seen what you can do to a man's skull against a wall. That's right. Well, the last part is, uh, false. I have not kidnapped anyone apart from those deputies on the train and this lovely judge in front of me. 
I've cut off nobody's hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, you know, for everything, though. <laughs> so, are you and the George, like, in the same kind of group, I guess, the same kind of society? So yeah, more get or that? less, but we don't talk about that. Yeah. It doesn't exist. I but, don't have a clue what you're talking about. Fair enough, we will not pry, of course, because my interest is in uh, robberies and heists, of course. Your political lifestyles, I may as well avoid. Unless you need help uh, for a job or two, where, of course, we would like to be paid. Yeah, fuck doing that voice. Yeah, I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly done with it. I'm, fuck it. <laughs> like, I, 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 I can't, I can't stand that shit. I, I can't. Honestly, it's hurting my fucking throat doing that. Unfortunately, I cannot get rid of my southern charm. Uh, it is deeply ingrained in the muscle tissue of my jaw. You haven't heard my new one yet, have you, Nikolai? Hey, what? My new voice. What new voice? Oh, um, my voice for Owen. He's Welsh, you know. Lovely boy, farmer he is. <laughs> Oh I'm my God. quite talented with my voice if I want to be. Yeah, oh my God. You, you and Shiv are gonna get along just fine. The Shiv is a good boy, by the way. I, I appreciate him very much. I enjoyed conversating with him inside the saloon uh, in Rhodes for quite some time. By the way, uh, Ivan, I should ask, um, if you do find these individuals I'm looking for, I'm paying a hundred dollars per head. Uh, that's what I told. Um, um, your boy Shiv there, and I want them alive because they re they require very specific punishment. You don't need to worry about paying us. Think of it as a gesture of goodwill if we come across them. Well, then again, I do not mind working in favors as well, and I do look forward to repaying them in spades. Glad to hear it. I got okay. more uh, on her. She's been given a lot of descriptions of you guys. Is that right? Her describing all of y'all, they have a tenuous connection with the bastards and Bigs crew. They wanted me to oh, murder somebody else, kidding. and she said no. They took me up to the snow and said they were gonna kill me, but I had already double-crossed them and told the person they wanted me to kill that they were gonna be. Was one of them with them called Scarecrow or Malachi by a chance? There ain't a Scarecrow. Mentioned here, there's a uh, John Mercer. I don't know who he is. I haven't seen him in a while, though. It's John kind of. Mercer, he was Biggs in his crew. It's part of Biggs. I'm familiar with Biggs. I used to work alongside him a while back, but I haven't seen him since they left. John Mercer's a good man. He, I trust him wholeheartedly. He's a very good man. I worked very closely with him. He, he is talented, to say the least. So she got that completely wrong with. The snow thing. Well, it seems she's been attempting at the very least to, you know, give the deputies information regarding y'all. I, I can't fucking find to that Mr. Baker, uh, it appears that he is a deputy recruit. That's all the information we got <laughs> on him. So that, that is what he's been up to. He went from vigil, he went from outlaw to vigilante to a goddamn sheriff. Well, he fucking, I tell you what, in working with us, we had to cut him loose anyway because he was getting cold feet on every fucking job that we were talking about. And I was, want to shoot people, he said. He was too soft. He was almost like a son to me. I taught him everything I knew. And I paid him well for the jobs as well. Such a heartbreak to have to let him go and take his year. Indeed. You know what you gotta do in this profession. Who else did we cut loose as well? I can't remember. There are a few. I cannot days. wait to return this to him next I see him. No, you weren't joking. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you weren't actually joking at all. Holy shit. No, I'm very serious. I don't understand the, the the appeal of taking body parts, honestly. Yeah, me neither. I just like. I mean, they're not gonna forget. People. It's a reminder, a, a painful reminder. It says yeah. a lot. That's true, and you, usually they don't step away alive from me, but you know, I guess if uh, you want to keep them alive, that would send a message. Well, if Marcus and um, Miss Gray, aka Rosie, 
as I'm concerned, they have punched their life tickets and they're no longer uh, destined to lie, live along these lands anymore. For Miss Rosa, uh, I plan to give her a blood eagle, if you know what that is. Is it Rosa or Rosie? Rosie, Rosa. Miss Gray is what she went by most of the time when I was with her. All right. Rosa, Miss Rosie is more of a, a nickname she uses. Okay, because there is a, a lady called Rosa as well. Italian lady. She is not Italian. She has an American accent. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, make sure yeah, you call her Rosie. She's a sweet old lady. You know her? I don't know her. Who, who doesn't know Rosa? I mean, I've heard of her. I've never met her in person. Oh, she will if you do. Oh my just, God! Uh, she, be she nice. was the old lady giving up Mr. Mustard shit, wasn't she? Yes, kind of master, the one where she wanted to see his balls. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah. You a friend of yours then? <laughs> oh, she's great fun. She absolutely is great entertainment. Um, we might have caught a carriage on fire together. Very funny. Allegedly. Pardon me. I'm going to go back down to the telegram station and. Uh... See if they've responded. All right. Same as before. If you don't come back within the hour, we'll assume you captured. Fair enough. May I buy your horse once more, Nikolai? Yeah. Nikolai. Fine. Why? Well, you got somewhere to go. No. <laughs> I just like sitting my new horse. I promise I won't damage the upholstery. Mm. Right. That is a, a black Arabian, right? It's, it's in. It's alright. Alright, it's on, guys. Uh, uh, what was, on. Yeah, what's your name again? Sorry. Uh, Ivan. Ivan, it's your time to shine. Now, mention this to uh, James Hallstrom when you get down there. She will be delivered safely to um, Van Horn after the exchange is done. Mention that if they do not have you back in an hour, we'll be sending body parts. Of course, not of hers, but, you know, somebody else. Sounds good to me. Do you know how many of them there is going to be down there? I'm told there should only be one. If you see more than one, uh, come back, and we'll send a new message. Okay, sounds good. Wait, so he's down there right now? He should be by himself. And I messaged, if I see anybody else with him that's not supposed to be there, the deal's off, and we will reset the Wait, deal. Wait, so he's not down there? He's in Van Horn right now. He's going to be leaving shortly. Um, he said by noon or something like that. So we want to get there soon. It's the time. Are you all going to head there now or are we going to stay here? We should stay here. That's what I thought. Uh, actually, you've got your map on you or anything, don't you? Yeah. I do. Right. If you look at Van Horn and then you look to the left of it and see how the river bends, there's a small fort just uh, to the south of that bend. Perhaps there will be a good place for you to go. I'll see it. Now so work. Well, uh, I think there's only one way in. Near where it says Kamasa well. River, right? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, right, right near there. It's in that, like, C shape. Yep, I got it. Right. You take her there. I'll, uh, go. Does he have the money with him at the moment? He should. I was in the instructions. All right. How much? Two thousand dollars. Okay. So I'll go down there. Tell him to give me the money. That will send Miss Catherine here down once we've got the money. Then I'll come back to the fort. We'll send Miss Catherine away on a horse and then we'll be long gone. Perfect. Perfect. But I couldn't say better myself. If I see more, I'll come back. And if he tries anything, well, I'm not getting taken by no deputy. I'm just going to put that out there. Well, yeah, you do what you have to do. We need oh, you alive, though. You're going to be of use to us. And we're going to oh, be of use to you in the future. Oh, he will be alive. I'll be alive. I'm, I can handle myself. <laughs> Which was the deputy again? one stupid deputy. <laughs> I'm assuming he ain't part of your little uh, arrangement, the one that we encountered in St. Denis. Well, I don't know, is he? Possibly. Could well, be. He seemed a little stupid to me, so I wouldn't imagine so. Well, well time of his other essence, by the way. He said he's going to be waiting there for a short period of time. All right, well, let's get moving. All right. If I'm going to do a go down there, I'm going to need a horse. Take, uh, take Nikolai's. We'll take the, uh, 
Our horses are unfortunately in Van Horn at the moment. I will very much Look, try to. If something happens to the horse, fuck it. We're gonna be rich enough to buy you twelve or something. Yeah, Miss Miss Catherine, may I help you inside the carriage here? Certainly, dear. All right. I'll go straight to Van Horn now. Hopefully, I see y'all soon. All right. Put the mask on. Hold on. Well, now this has been a very pleasant surprise, Miss Catherine. It has been absolutely this is fucking wonderful. This is great. What a lovely day that's turning out. To I'm be. glad that uh, nothing will become between me and Felix, and it sounds like since you guys are uh, probably on the same boat with yeah, the your little organization. Give him my regards and tell him I would like to give him a conversation sometime and a drink. Oh, absolutely. I mean, typically we like to be. Uh, you know, informed of uh, things such as this that would be happening, but, uh, you know. Well, next time he will be, if there is a next time. Considering that, now I know who I'm dealing with. <laughs> exactly. Goodness. I can tell you now, this has been a very exciting day. Did not see this coming. Pleasantly exciting. I really wish there was a way to make him to go away, but I don't think I have him. Yeah, I don't think uh, Miss Moore here can help you with that without exposing herself. Well, you know, there is something. If you uh, happen to uh, turn your fine into uh, Deputy Gilmore, well, we could possibly reduce it. But that is, uh, of course, if uh, our arrangement and our knowledge of each other is, uh, you know, Hush, hush, and all. Of course, of course. Well, you hear that, yeah. Nikolai? Looks like you're gonna get a good deal out of this and have to pay $400 for uh, being caught for a train robbery. <laughs> mm. I don't want to pay the fine anyways, but... Uh, well, you don't have to. Anyways, you... Li I can pay we live on the road for the most part anyway, so, I mean... I've never met the, him before, so I don't really know who I'm looking for. Uh, are you a little bit headachy as well, everybody? Or is it just me? Uh, no, I'm feeling yeah. alright. I'm feeling just right. fine as well. Oh, okay. Because I am, like, extremely headachy. Like, the worst ever. Could it be because you're hanging off the side of the, the uh, carriage? I... Yeah, I'll Well, I need to look at my map one sec. Now, I have a question for you since you're a judge, and I, me and my boys are talking about this the other day. Now, say one of my boys gets put away for life, and he spends his life in Sissica. How would we go about getting him out of Sissica? Do you have a boat? I do have a boat. Well, Sissica's an island. I mean, there's two ways. I could break him out, or I could uh, convince a judge to... Uh, Perhaps end a sentence on good behavior. Yeah, we could uh, have a, uh, a parole hearing, hearing and see if uh, he's eligible for parole, of course. There's uh, quite a multitude of ways that you could actually uh, make it work. Perhaps I could kidnap you again, as in for exchange for my unfortunate friend to be put away in Sissica. Well, uh, I don't uh, see why not. As long as, of course, you're not caught for this one, then they would uh, have no idea to uh, uh, connect to you, unless uh, you do want me to tell them that it was uh, you that did it, or did you want to receive that? Go ahead and tell that the Silver Bastards had kidnapped you. Alright. Rock of Lundale, the bastard, took you in. Alright. Since my good name is already stained from many robberies. <laughs> Was that somebody? That Shit. Person. Sorry. Ow. I apologize, mate. I'm so sorry. I was not concentrating at all. Oh. You're right. No, I'm gonna run over by a wagon. What do you think? 
I'm sorry, mate. We're in a bit of a hurry, all right? Uh... You're a shitty fucking driver. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Do you need medical attention? Are you all right? Oh. I think I'll be okay. Let me see. Well, sir, if you're not in any need of medical attention, we must be on our way. We have an important date to meet. All right. Well, don't hit anyone else on the damn road. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. I apologize. Right, Can I get... Yeah, fuck it. Such polite outlaws. It, it's like so but fucking it's... obvious what we're doing. You know he right? he might be a deputy. He had a white hat. No, he's not a deputy. What do you reckon? I believe he might be a deputy. He did have a white hat. Oh, I didn't see a badge, though. They have to wear their badges. Yes, it's the, the badge, not the hat. Because well. anyone can wear a white hat. It's a, it's a matter of the uh, the badge, but also the clothing. You'll see they'll either have red or blue and then a brown coat. Typical. All right, we're here. Come on out, ma'am. Kill the fort first. Make sure there's no one inside. Is anybody inside the fall here? Please make yourself known. This is the sheriff office coming in here. Please make yourself known. If he doesn't hear, I'm sure he'll be headed back by now. Oh, yeah, he was oh, on his way. There he is. Is he a team? Yes, sir. Really. That's yeah, us. Yeah. Come on in. All right, I'm coming in. All right. Um, he knows if he doesn't to hear anything to reconvene back. That's right. All right, what's up? Uh... saying we demand uh, maybe like 4,000. 4,000? I mean, shit, it's a judge. I don't know. I don't want to push our luck too much as well. I mean, 2,000 is good. Maybe we can up to 2,500 as well. We need all to agree on this before we start again. Maybe 3,000. 3 grand. If you were to 3,000 to well. start high, then they yeah. might try to negotiate with us, and then we I would get go... it at least 2,000. Yeah, I would go as low as 2,000. Um, well, I can't tell her I'm the deputies. I don't have uh, money on me uh, to do an anonymous one. So, uh, some cash on me. if you do, just tell the deputies, uh, well, obviously that we have Judge uh, Kath Catherine? Catherine Kath Moore, yes. Right, and you were, you were dealing with this last time. I was. You want to take uh, over the telegrams yeah. again? I will. I know what I want to say. I was very clear in my demands when I went down there the last time. If you need any cash, you good. I have money. By the way, it doesn't matter if it's anonymous for myself. The, the name I use is just another fake name on the telegram. So I'm technically still anonymous. <laughs> oh, so you uh, told the man to use a different alias, the man at the telegram office? Yes, I did. All right, good. Well, make sure, uh, you know, you tell him again, you know. That's a good call. <laughs> All right, then here's the plan. I'll head back down there, send a telegram. I'll wait for uh, a reply. And once I get the reply, I'll come back up this way. How's that sound? All right. Just well, yeah, don't get caught by any deputies that do arrive there if they do, you know? I know. I, I'm, I'm aware of that. If they do arrive, I do have my insurance as well up here. Saying, you know, if I'm not returned within the hour and so on. Uh, shenanigans. Um, I might as well, uh, go do that now. If I'm not back within, uh, if I'm not back with, with back within an hour and a half, um. Hour and a half, all right, uh, I'll see, yeah, uh, what, what, uh, you'll probably get there in, what, uh, two or three minutes? Yeah, and I have to sit there for a bit to, uh, receive the telegram as well. So I'll be waiting there for I'll a moment. Jeez, totally... <laughs> 10 o'clock, I guess. All right, when it's, uh, dark. All right, then. Let's get this job done so we can celebrate. Thing, gentlemen. 
I want mm. to make sure. I know Ivan can uh, handle his own, and he would be uh, very uh, informed about a situation like this. However, I want to make it very clear that uh, if anyone out of us five was to stumble upon this situation, anyone, it does not matter. You are to treat me as a hostage, exactly as you would. You rope Understood. me up, you can Duh. call me names, you can hit me around, but do not shoot me. Sounds like but... my ex-wife. She loved that. <laughs> yes. Play I'll your make sure you don't and get I'll play my part. Of course. Make a convincing display. Yes. Yes, sir. Anyone outside of us five has no idea of our affiliations. And we and hope no it remains will. that way. <laughs> no one will. We'll make sure of that. Good. But uh, after this, unfortunately, we have a lot of business to attend to. Found out some things very bad that... We'll going to deal with uh, some family of mine after this. Fucking sucks. But it's what they have Alright, we know what to do. I'm going to head down there and get my part done. Yeah. Alright. Right. Yeah, I'm so surprised family would betray me though. 